Cheese to get a tuber model be me. Turtles and cheese. Number 1. Dress up games. Pros. Most dress up apps are free. Multiple apps to choose from like, Gacha Club, Pastel Girlfriends, Monster Girl Maker, etc. Unlimited customization. Make it look however you want. You don't need a camera. Cons, doesn't move, no expressions, takes quite a bit of work to make clear image and import to recording device. Number 2, still art. Rose, looks really nice, especially if you're good at art. Cheap for digital artists. Unlimited customization. No webcam needed. Cons, requires art skills, can cost up to $100 to commission artists if you want to use their art. Doesn't move, no expressions. Also, art made by me follow me on Insta at official turtles and cheese. Number 3. Rig 2D model. Pros, it moves. Looks super good especially with good rigging, it can look almost 3D at times. More lively. Expressions. Unlimited customization you can make it look how you want it to. Looks the best in my opinion. Not as janky and any art style goes great with it. Cons, requires art skill. Difficult to rig if you don't know how to. Can cost more than $200 for both an art commission and rig alone. Requires webcam. Number 4, custom cast. Pros, super cute and customizable. You can pretty much make any kind of character you want. Free app, but on PC it's $20. Expressions are really cute and the models are also adorable. Cons, janky, requires you to hold up your phone for face tracking. Difficult to link mobile share screen to PC. Expressions are hard to enable, you have to flip the screen to change them. Head is really sensitive and body doesn't move much. To top it off, it's a really large app. Number 5, Droid Studio. Pros, moves and has expressions. Completely free. Extremely customizable. Looks nice. Many nice people in the community who make tutorials on how to work the program. Cons, requires art skills. Hard to make look nice especially if you've had a former experience with this. Sort of janky. Needs webcam. Default expressions are absolutely horrendous. Need unity to customize expressions. Expressions are sometimes too sensitive. Can cost $100 or more to commission someone to make a model for you. Not as nice as bigger company 3D models. Not very beginner friendly. Need a digital drawing tablet for direct drawing. If you don't have one you legit just go back and forth from your mobile drawing device, Google Drive and the studio. I legit could go on forever as to why I don't really like this option even though it's free and easy. I guess this kinda wraps up the video. Sorry for using a text-to-speech engine, I couldn't be bothered to narrate the video. Also, also sorry for the poor image quality of this caption. I'm still putting it in because I know how annoying it is when people don't put captions it. These are all the current ways that I know of that you can get a free tuber model. Not counting if you commission people for things. I think if you ask me, the absolute best option would be to have a still or rig 2D model. Mainly since they're both, sort of, cheap and they both look really good. Of course, rigging a 2D model would be hard, but many people do it themselves and it always turns out really great. If you really wanted a 3D tuber model, I would probably suggest using some mobile app rather than using Droid Studios. I have a lot of bias towards it. Even though I use the software myself, but I'll save them for another video if people want that. Another option to these is also joining a tuber agency. There are loads of agencies, the most popular being Halolov and Nijasanji, but it's difficult to make it in, not to mention you have to be of legal age or Japanese. Anyways thank you for watching. Please follow me on Instagram at official turtles and cheese. I will see you later.